My story starts when I was a young girl. My biological father started abusing me in the fourth grade. It was every night for an entire school year. It's the scariest thing in the world to have the man who's supposed to protect you be the one that violates you. And I didn't tell anybody. We weren't regular churchgoers, but I did know that there's no way that God could love a dirty, shamed girl like myself. I uh, became pretty promiscuous as I got older and ended up pregnant when I was 16. Had an abortion shortly after that. And I remember laying on the table thinking, well, there's no way God can ever forgive me for this. A few short years later, I met my husband. I wanted to accept her for who I knew she was. I didn't believe I deserved to be happy. I didn't deserve this family that I was given. And I was so petrified that somebody was gonna come take it away from me or that I would be punished for my past. And I kept thinking, what is wrong with me? Why can't I just believe? We found out we were pregnant with our youngest son, Andrew. I went in to have him and he was very sick. Um, we weren't sure if he was going to make it or not. The night that he was his worst, he was on 100% oxygen and he wasn't doing well, our church had a prayer vigil. That night had been pretty rough and I was still trying to convince her that it's, we need to pray about it. His doctor had met me out in the hallway and he took me by the hands and he just said, I don't know how to tell you this, Angela, but Andrew's off the ventilator. He said, I don't like to use the word miracle very often, but in 30 years, I've never seen anything like it. And I remember this tingling starting in my toes and slowly moving up my body. And I didn't even go in to see Andrew. I raced home because we didn't have cell phones back then. So I wanted to let Rob know. And he's standing outside in the pouring rain and the clouds had just parted and the sun was coming down on him and his hands were up to the heavens. It was so peaceful. I couldn't hear any noise from the background. I didn't feel wet from the rain, and I was crying at the time. And he said, he's going to be all right, isn't he? And this fast-moving film went in my head. And when I was that fourth-grade little girl, he was holding my hand when I was getting molested. God was. And when I had my abortion, he was right next to me. And he was in the pew when I got married. And I finally believed that he was always there for me. It was overwhelming, but in the greatest sense possible. It's what I had been waiting for. It was my miracle. This is no ordinary love. This is no ordinary love. On December 18th, I was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. Anything that is stage four, they cannot cure you, but they can put you into remission. We are not necessarily in control at any time that we think we are, and God has a plan for us. Cancer is the worst thing that ever happened to me, but it's also the best thing that's ever happened to me. Angela is my hero. God's a forgiving God. All you have to do is ask Him, and all you have to do is ask once. And that even in your deepest, darkest times, that He's still right there, right next to you, holding your hand. And He's gonna love you unconditionally, no matter what you do. So you have peace. I have, I'm in such peace, I, I can't even tell you. But I truly believe it with everything in me. Why? Because I know God loves me and my community loves me, and my family loves me. They show up every day. God, community, and family show up in my life every minute of every day. And how lucky am I? I mean, really, how lucky am I? Last February, Austin was in the hospital fighting for his life. He had contracted influenza A and pneumonia. It was a miracle he walked out of there seven days later. I tell you this because Austin hadn't asked Jesus into his heart. It wasn't until Easter that Austin finally asked Jesus to be his Lord and Savior. I believe God saved him in February to give him a chance to find his way. 
And even though I miss him every minute of every day, I was blessed with 30 years of wonderful memories to hold on to until I see him again.